Hey guys, it's Sanem, and today I'm testing viral TikTok makeup hacks. Okay, listen, I just joined TikTok. <laughs> I just joined TikTok like two months ago, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'm obsessed, um, like obsessed with TikTok, and so um, I wanted to test out makeup hacks for you guys because I've never done a video like this. It's interesting. There were some fails and some things that I would definitely implement into my routine because honestly, they are like life-changing. If you guys wanna see more TikTok videos from me, I can definitely do that. I can not only do makeup hacks, but I can do lifestyle hacks, food hacks, skincare hacks, anything like that, anything TikTok related, let me know because I'm literally obsessed with that app. I literally, I'm on it like 24 seven now, just scrolling through watching videos. And yeah, it really reminds me of Vine and I was a huge fan of Vine back in the day. If you are new to my channel, then my name is Sanem and I create new content for you every single week. So I hope you enjoy your stay. And that is it for me. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let's jump straight into it. So the first makeup hack from TikTok that I'm gonna be trying out is creating your own foundation at home. It's mixing a moisturizer with a loose powder of your skin tone. So let's go ahead and watch it. So as you can see, she is putting in moisturizer and then she's taking what looks like the, the Ben Nye Banana Powder, mixing it in and then she's created her own foundation shade. So I'm using the Free Part Harmony Moisturizer by Origins, and I'm so excited. Uh, I don't have the Ben Nye Banana Powder, but I do have the Makeup Revolution Banana Light, which this should be a good shade for me, and I'm really excited about this one. I'm just gonna use the end of a makeup brush, scoop out some of the moisturizer, put it onto this little dish, like that. Okay, this is really weird. And then take the Revolution. I feel like I'm a scientist right now. And just pour that in. I don't even know how much to do, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. I think that should be good. And mix it in. Oh my gosh. This looks really weird. <laughs> So you can see it's actually turning into like a paste. Oh my gosh. I mean, it kind of works, right? But it almost looks like a tinted moisturizer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. There's literally no Coverage, like zero coverage. Oh my gosh. There is no coverage. I wonder if it's the moisturizer or the powder. All it's done is pretty much just moisturize my face without any color. So I'm gonna try it again. And instead I'm gonna use the e.l.f. moisturizer. This is a little bit more liquidy and runny. So we should see, maybe this might work better. And then again, more powder. Okay, so I've got my little mixture. This seemed a little better. Okay, that looks better. Oh my God, this is just not working again. This is so bad. It's basically wiping off the color and then just it's getting all patchy yeah you know what so that hack did not work mm -mm. Mm -mm. so i just put on my nars foundation now i'm going to move on to the next hack okay so this next one is a really really strange one that involves a spoon okay a spoon and this, make sure you use a clean spoon. This um, hack is basically contouring with a spoon. And yeah, as you can see, she's just blending out with her beauty blender. And then she also contours using a fork, but I'm not gonna do that one today because I have another nose contour hack. So I'm just gonna use this one and let's see. So I have the Hula Quickie Contour Sticks by Benefit. And I'm gonna contour with that. Okay, so, oh my God, this double chin. Right, 
let's see. Got my spoon. So what she does is just puts it right above the cheekbone, as you can see right here. And then she draws a line underneath and then uh, buffs it out with a beauty blender. So I'm gonna grab my contour stick and just any brush, take some product on there. How do I do this? Oh my God, it's, feel, it's so awkward to hold it. Okay, maybe like that. Okay. This feels so weird. Something like that. Now I'm just gonna blend it out. You know what? This might work. Okay, this looks really good. It's a really natural, subtle contour, cream contour. Okay, so. I'm getting the hang of it. Yep, I love this hack. It looks so good. Oh my God. So as you can see, this hack did work. It contoured my cheeks really nicely. It didn't give much coverage. Of course, it's a very subtle contour. Um, and you can just go in afterwards with a powder and then just build it up, which I will do. But to start off, if you're a beginner as well, then it's a great little hack um, to try out because it places the contour in the right area. All you need to do is go like this, place the spoon where your cheek is popping out, and then just draw the line. It probably will work only with cream contours, like cream products, but it works. The next hack is the one I'm most excited about, and that is creating your own colored base like cut crease, coloured eye base, um, any colour you want, you can create it. And this one blew my mind. I don't know why I haven't thought about it. And it's basically taking concealer with any coloured eyeshadow or pigment and then just mixing it in and then you've got your own coloured eye base. Like what? So I'm going to use a bright pink today. This is the Makeup Revolution Infinite Concealer. And I'm using today the MAC pigment in Process Magenta, which is a hot pink, because I wanted to try it with a vivid colour. So let's take the concealer and make sure the concealer is a light concealer as well. Okay, so I'm going to pour out the tiniest amount because, okay, that should be enough. Seriously, if this works, oh my gosh. Okay, it's turning into like a really light pink. Let me go in with a bit more. <gasps> Too much. This is really, really fun. So I put more pigment and I'm just building it up. Okay, so now it's the moment of truth. I'm just gonna take a brush and go into it. Okay, so. Oh my God. Do you guys see how vibrant that is? <gasps> it's going on like the P. Louise bases. Oh my freaking gosh. This one, I need to find out this girl who created it because I'm, I'm gonna need more makeup hacks from her. So I'm just gonna repeat this on the other side. I'm. <laughs> I cannot believe a simple little makeup hack can honestly just make you create so many different eye looks now. Because who's really gonna go out and buy every single color eye base? Like, you know, like the P. Louise ones. It's just, no, just no. You can literally DIY this now. Oh my gosh. Mind blown, seriously, mind blown. 
Okay, so moving on, because I've been talking about this hack for ages, I'm gonna put on some eyeshadow and I'll be right back for the next hack. Okay, so I'm back and as you can see, I have a lot going on on my face. Um, I just finished off the rest of my makeup and now we're going into the next hack. So this one is actually by Brittany Bent Makeup here on YouTube. And she is nose contouring in a different way. I mean, I've seen this hack before, but I've never tried it. So let's watch it together. So little tip for those of you guys who want to learn how to nose contour, uh, grab yourself one of these brushes. Go from the inner corner of your brow all the way down so to I the do bottom have of one your nose. Of those tools. Apply a little bit to the tip and to shorten it and repeat the same step onto the other side. I have the same tool, um, it's just that. What are those like artiste brush kind of dupes? Uh, and I'm using the KKW Beauty Contouring Powder in Light Tan or Light One. I can't remember what it's called. We're just gonna go straight into it. And I'm gonna take maybe that much. Okay, there's already a fallout happening. So let's tap that off. Okay, so. Okay, let me start from the side. So she said connect it from your nose up here. Drag all the way down. Oh lord, that is dark. Okay. Do the tip. Which actually... This kind of works. Because it's shortened the tip. And then do the same on this side. Drag it down. And connect it in this little part here. Okay, so let me just blend this out. It's a little too harsh. So it kind of works, like it definitely made my nose slim. And I like that, I like this little tip here. I'm definitely gonna use that. As for the contour, it's it's really dark, it could be the powder, but I also feel like a brush like this really does pack it on strong, as opposed to like if you were to use a blending brush, you can just use a light hand with it and just buff it out. Whereas these are so compact, so it packs on a lot of product. So I don't really know if it's if it matters what color contour powder you're using, because this is quite strong already. Has it contoured my nose even more or does it just look the same? I do feel like it's slightly slimmer. I really do like the tip little hack as well. You win and you lose some. I think it's definitely a win but you have to work with it a little bit. And last but not least I have the last hack and I do have a lot of other hacks so if you guys want to see more TikTok, um, testing TikTok makeup hacks then do let me know or even just other hacks like you know lifestyle hacks, food hacks, I can do that for you as well. So um, the last one I have here is a really interesting one that I've actually never seen before and it's very simple. So as you can see she is saying that she's going to use lip liner and chapstick to give a natural full lip effect. She just overlined her lips and yeah that's it and then she's applying lip balm it looks super natural she just went over the lip line literally just lined her lips with a very similar lip liner to her actual lip color i'm using today the nyx lip liner in natural there you go the name also suggests suggests that this is going to be a natural looking lip so i'm just gonna go over the line like she done So I'm gonna go in with the Burt's Bee Lip Balm. This is the pomegranate flavor. It has, well, it looks like it has a red tint, but it's actually very clear, like there's no color to it. Um, so let's just go right on top. Okay. I approve of this one. This one is a double thumbs up. So as you can see, it literally makes your lips look plump, but in a natural way. And it adds obviously a tiny bit of a shine because of the lip balm and it moisturizes them. The lip liner makes your lips look fuller. You have to get the right lip liner color to match your lip shade. So make sure you have like a really natural looking lip liner. And when you apply the lip balm, it almost like blends the lip liner into your lips. So you don't really have to do that much work. And just go like that. And look at that. It's blended. 
it looks super super natural for sure i would definitely keep doing this hack and i'm going to implement it into my routine for sure i okay listen i'm pretty impressed right let me know um, down below comment down below right now what your favorite hack was and if you're going to try any of this stuff out seriously I'm like mind blown by two of them. So my favorite two were of course the lips and the like the pigment with the concealer, creating your own colored base. That was my number one favorite. And then the lip is seriously like just everything because you can do a no makeup makeup look with this lip. Seriously, it's okay. Siri thought I was talking to her. That is so funny. I did like the spoon hack. Um, am I gonna do it like when I'm doing my makeup? No, I'm not, I'm probably not, but it's a good one if you're starting out and also just, you know, if you want like a nice little definition going on, then you can definitely do that hack. But apart from that, that is everything. So again, let me know what you guys think. I can always do more for you. And that is it for me. And as usual, that is it for me. So I'll talk to you guys all in my next video.